Good morning, all empathic sensitive souls. How are you? Happy Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday already. Where did the weekend go? I can't believe it goes so fast. How did we do last week with the I am, or sorry, that was a previous week. I am calm, centered, and strong. And last week was this too shall pass and I will emerge stronger. I had to say that so many times last week because of the stresses that was going on with work and then me having to go into work. Yes, I survived. I made it through. The day went surprisingly well. Strange. I was not expecting that. I was hoping that it would go great. But I knew that no matter what was thrown at me, I can do it. I am calm, I am centered, I am strong. Whatever this is being thrown at me, it'll pass and I'll be stronger because of it. Was it a roller coaster of emotion? Yes, it was. Because I was always expecting something to happen and it was surprisingly calm. Part of that is because I've changed and I like to think I'm more calm. But I was still waiting, waiting for that other shoe to drop. And it didn't. But of course, it was only one day. There are more to come, right? But again, whatever is thrown at me, it'll pass. Whatever they throw at me, is it going to affect me in the next 10 years, 5 years, 5 months, 5 days? It may be five minutes, but it will pass and I'll be stronger because of it. This week's mantra, are we ready? I breathe in peace, I breathe out stress. And the funny thing is, is the shirt I'm wearing says just breathe. Didn't even know it. I didn't have a chance to even look at the mantra this morning before I hopped on. Just breathe, breathe out all the anxiety, breathe out the stuff we don't want, breathe out that stress and breathe in peace. I am calm. I am centered. I am strong. Breathe in the peace and blow out all that anxiety. Take a deep breath in. You can even hold it at the top of your breath for a couple seconds and blow it out. There's been tons of studies done on breathing, regulating your nervous system. There was even a study done that said, if you breathe in almost like you're crying when you get really anxious and you feel like you're gonna cry, that the breathing in with the <laughs> crying actually calms your nervous system. I haven't tried that one. And I don't know how well that would go over in like front of other people, but it'd be interesting to try it. <laughs> uh, you ever notice when babies are calming down, they do that and it soothes them and it, and it helps put them to sleep. It relaxes them. So it's something to think about. I breathe in peace. I breathe out stress. I breathe in peace. I breathe out stress. I am calm. I am centered. I am strong. And whatever is thrown at me, I know I'm strong and it'll pass. What I choose to hold memories of or emotions of in my brain as things occur to me, that, that's my choice. And I can breathe them out and not hold that energy or that angst or that negativity within. I can let it go. If you're ever working on a project, whether it's hammering nails into a board and sometimes you just, you can't get it right. And sometimes you just walk away from it. And what do you find yourself doing? Taking deep, breaths because you're trying to calm yourself because you get so frustrated we can do the same when it's 
other stressors thrown at us, whether it's a coworker being not so nice or snarky, or it's like, you know what? That's on them. Their attitude is on them. It's not me. It's probably a reflection of something they see in me that they don't like within themselves. So then they throw it back and they try to hurt my feelings and they try to make me feel miserable because they themselves feel miserable. I've been guilty of it myself. But now I know I can breathe in the peace. I can breathe out the stress. I can be calm and centered and try not to let those emotions rule me, control me. And when I can calm my nervous system down, you start to see things through a different lens, through a different light. And I find it interesting. I like to be the observer and see what's going on, but I know when you're in it, that's hard to do. Believe me, I know. I'm the queen of, <gasps> and I want to run and hide and process my emotions. And I'm trying to learn to breathe in, breathe out, and just let the emotions flow through, notice them, and try to remember that somebody coming at me with an issue or a problem or not so nice vibe that it's them and maybe it's my place to be the buffer and just listen to them because a lot of times people just don't have anybody to listen to not that i need to take their anger and not that i need to be treated that way but sometimes people just need somebody to understand what they're going through and what their emotions are. A friend of mine said, you know, the next time somebody comes up and they're snarky to you and they're mean to you, especially at work, she goes, look at them and say, who hurt you? And see what they have to say. And in some cases it'll work depending on who the person is it will take them aback. Other cases, it'll just add fuel to the fire and make the experience so much worse, especially if they're already a bully and they're notorious for being that way. But it's something to think about. So I like to breathe in, hold it, breathe out. Sometimes you can do the box breath, which is four in, hold for four, four out, hold for four, count slow. Sometimes you can do a count seven in, hold for four, and blow eight out. Sometimes just the act of counting in your head distracts your brain from going down that path of total anxiety. And sometimes it's just really hard to even contemplate changing your breathing while somebody's bombarding you with emotion that you don't want to deal with. And it's okay. It's all good. We're good. Breathe in. Breathe out. This too shall pass. And we'll be stronger because of it. All the experiences that we have been through have made us who we are today. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's who we are. And we're awesome. Hi, April. Nice to see you. With all that being said, I am breathing today. In the peace and out the stress. And I just keep breathing. We all have to breathe anyways. Might as well make it mindful, especially during those stressful situations. And hopefully the peace will flow. And if we're calm and peaceful, even if somebody's coming at us that isn't, it'll change the action and the reaction of that person. Because a lot of times they want to ruffle your feathers. They want you to be miserable like they are. And if you're not and you're calm and peaceful, 
sometimes it stops them and they, they're just like, that, that's not a normal reaction. I, I don't understand. Sometimes it gets worse, but sometimes they back off and, and go try to figure out what, ha what what's the change, what happened. Food for thought. Let me know how it works with you. Keep me posted. I will be back on Wednesday and we will continue on breathing in the peace, out the stress. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Bye for now.